Hey, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and I've got a quick tutorial that was requested of me to go into the Lightroom Learning Center on how to export photos from Lightroom to work best on Facebook and suit Facebook's quality levels. So here I've got an image and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File, Export and here is where I'm going to choose my details. So I'm going to export it to hard drive uh, I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now. Uh, I don't really want to rename it, I could just untick that if I wanted to. Um, and here I'm going to go JPEG, which is recommended by Facebook, sRGB, quality 77, so that helps to keep the file size down. But um, I have tried this a couple of times, and every time I hit limit file size to 100 kilobytes, it doesn't export. It keeps saying that there is a problem and from the research that I've done it says that there's a bug inside of Lightroom that causes that. Um, so I'm just going to leave that unticked for now and I know that I've got uh, the right image format, the right color space and the um, lowest highest quality JPEG if that makes any sense. So resize to fit is uh, on the long edge. Now for high quality photos um, Facebook recommends 2048 pixels on the long edge. That is so you can get your highest quality out of the photo on Facebook. And then resolution, uh, I'm putting a 72 ppi. Um, a lot of people say that 300 is just fine. Um, 300 is designed more for actually printing your images so that it gives a higher resolution um, file for print. Um, and 72 is best catered to uh, web images um, as it will help to keep that file size a bit lower um, so that it doesn't take up as much space on Facebook or your website or something like that. And then metadata, you can choose you know, what you want to do. I'm just going to tick right keywords and I'm going to include my watermark. I just like to do that for myself um, just in case somebody somehow pulls the photo off the internet um, and uploads it again straight away. Um, I just leave that on there for my own peace of mind. I know that people can remove it, um, but I know that it's there anyway. So what I'm going to do, now that I've done that, I'm going to show you how to actually save this as an export preset so that you can go back to it within one click and it'll save you putting in all these details if you go and change it. So I've got a whole bunch of um, user presets here. I'm going to go down here to add, and I'm going to call this one Facebook Export Preset, create, and that comes up there. So I can just go to here, that'll change all those settings to how I like to export them um, normally, but if I just go to Facebook Export Preset, changes it back to exactly what I want, um, exact same destination, everything like that, and then I can just hit export. Uh, I do already have one of these images on my desktop, so I'm just going to use unique names. Now, this is going to export to the desktop. I'll show you how the image actually came out. Um, so I'll minimize this screen now. And here is where the photo is. So if I get info, you can see that it's saved as 1.2 megabytes. Now, Facebook does recommend um, 100 kilobytes, but um, if you want to get the highest resolution, the highest quality image, um, actually having it limited to 100 kilobytes is going to have to decrease the um, the actual file size so that you actually have to export something a lot smaller, something closer to 470 pixels to get that um, 100 kilobytes. So. I'm putting it as 1.2 megabytes just so you can see it um, and I'll open up Lightroom again and um, now that you know how to save it as an export preset a really quick way to get to it is just go to file export with preset and then here you can choose what preset you want to do so just export with preset Facebook export preset um, you can save just however you like and then you can go out and share it on social media. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Please do like, comment and subscribe. I do really appreciate it. I love all the support um, that I get on this and the Lightroom Learning Center. Just below this video is also a link to a blog post I did. 
on um, on the actual Facebook recommendations that they put out there. Um, so you can make a couple more in, informed decisions if you want to. Um, there are some smaller file sizes there on the long edge that you can export to if you want to. Um, just change that 2048 pixels to work with the dimension that you'd like. So I hope you enjoy this and I will see you in the next video.